that time seems to be so evanescent, it's always vanishing, we can never pin it down, Augustine notes, all of us are conscious of intervals of time, and we regularly compare one time with another. We say, oh, that was a long time ago, referring to some event in the distant past. Or we say, that's going to happen right away, like the lunch we're going to enjoy as soon as I shut up. We speak of some expected occurrence. It's not here yet, it's going to happen. Or we might say of some contemporary event, it's going on right now. We talk this way all of the time. How can we talk this way, Augustine asks, given the ephemerality, the evanescence, the crumbling quality of time? When we talk about past, present, and future events like this, Augustine says, we are really describing three realities in the mind. The past is present to us in memory. The present is present to us in attention. The future is present to us in expectation. So time itself is a kind of tension or strain within consciousness itself. It is, I think Augustine invented this term, it is a distensio animi, a distension of the mind or the soul. That is what time is. By defining time as the distension of the mind, Augustine is simply recognizing that time, at least in its fallenness, as you and I experience it in our fallen world, is the arena of disorder. It is the condition in which our soul is constantly pulled and stretched hither and yon in various directions. Its moral integrity fractured by sin and death, its very existence threatened and called into question. At one point he says, Ecce distensio est vita mea. Look, this distension is my life. It's a very interesting word, distensio, distension. It can be translated variously as strain, anxiety, distraction. It can also mean distorted, misshaped, deformed. In fact, in the Middle Ages, it was a word used to describe the tortures of the Inquisition, the experience of being distended, stretched out on the rack. It's precisely this kind of torturous state in which we find ourselves as fallen, finite human beings needing deliverance and redemption.